Hi, I'm Travel Specialist Jeff Merrill in Ensenada, Mexico, aboard Cayenne. Cayenne is a Nordhaven 43 2004 edition and actually hull number one. I have a special relationship with this boat. When she was originally christened, she was Island Magic. Some special configurations ordered for her so that the husband and wife and their three daughters could go cruising. They did the Great Loop. This boat's been on the Atlantic and the Pacific and really seen a lot of the world. What I really like about Cayenne is that she's really well maintained, very clean. I'm going to show you that as we go through on this talk through tour. The entry level, you arrive through the Dutch door, it's a split door, and then the salon and galley are all on this entry level. The port side has a settee here, comfortable cushions, there's a flat screen TV above so you can be sitting on the other side or in the galley watching television. This settee also has a pullout which allows for a, a shorter person to sleep or for kids to sleep. The entry level does have the galley forward to port. And as I'm walking up forward, I'm stepping on the carpet. The carpet is covering beautiful teak and spruce flooring. The galley has granite countertops, a double basin sink. From here, I can see what's going on around me, talk to the other people. Overhead cabinet for storage, a three burner propane stove and oven. Here, opening port light. And then forward, pantry lockers, lockers above, a sub-zero refrigerator and a GE trash compactor. On the other part of the salon over on the starboard side is an L-shaped settee. And one of the things I really like, and we did this purposely for this video, is I'm showing you the teak table with the starburst pattern. So comfortable seating area here. Again, you can see that television from there. Up forward in this locker is the combination laundry, uh, Splendid clothes washer dryer right here. As you go up forward, this is the stack for the dry stack exhaust here. And Nordhaven has cleverly tucked in a refrigerator right here with a stainless face. From this lower level area, I can now go up the stairs to the pilot house. The Nordhaven 43 has a raised pilot house. You can come up from the galley and you can also go down the stairways here to the lower level. One of the great features of the Nordhaven is the reverse rake windows forward. That reduces the glare at night. And you can see as it starts to get darker, you have everything very well lit up here. On the starboard side is an electrical panel with all of your breakers, easy to get to here. Up on the dash console, GPS, speed, wind, radar chart plotter, main engine controls, compass, angled steering wheel with a spinning knob, bow thruster, the wing engine T-handles are down below here, as well as an air conditioning select panel. There are two autopilots. You also have stereo, iridium sat phone, and working our way back up, you have a clock, a barometer, and a bell. Before I go up to the rest of the top, I want to show there's a great chart area right here, and below that, two Vitrofrigo refrigerator drawers. So easy to pull things out. You can keep some cold storage up here. Now back to the top water maker control panel, battery monitor, inverter, VHF radio, wipers, NIAD Multi-C2 active fin stabilizer panel with a cooling pump, main engine panel, your lugger right there, a water and fuel alarm, Yamar wing engine control panel with an hour meter, not that common on a Nordhaven to see that hour meter, the horn, Northern Lights generator, fire suppression system, and windless. So from here, I can get to everything. I can see it all, have great command, great control of the boat. If I'm off watch and I'm gonna be keeping the captain company, there is a set T back here. It's wide enough to be able to sleep on. There's actually a built-in watch berth right above that slides out to give you some more comfortable sleeping room. The table is fixed. It has a couple of drink holders built in. Nice place to have a snack, a meal, or even bring up a computer and get a little bit of typing done. You can go out the pilot house from either side through the Dutch doors. I really like this pilot house. There's a lot going on in here. There's a lot of room here. And when you're underway, if you're not up on the flybridge, you'll be down here in the pilot house making things happen. Down the stairs from the pilot house, you get to a landing, which divides the two staterooms. The forward stateroom is the guest stateroom. And then back aft is the owner cabin. This was the special design up here where they had three different single bunks. On the starboard side, a big single bunk, and on the port side, two bunk beds. There's storage underneath the bunks, there's a hanging locker, and then the three gals, the three girls, shared this forward head and shower, so I know it must work if three girls can share the same space. 
a sink with a medicine cabinet, Raritan freshwater electric toilet, and a stand-up shower stall. There's an overhead hatch in the shower area, the head area, and also in the guest cabin. As we work our way back aft, you'll see I come down one little step here. I can go back up to the pilot house or enter the owner cabin. The owner cabin has the bed thwart ship. So this makes it much easier to make the bed very comfortable and uses the space wisely in here. Sleep on either side, so opening port lights. There's a mirror on the forward bulkhead. From here, I can go into the engine room or across into the owner's head and shower. So the owner's head and shower has the sink, medicine cabinet, toilet, and a stand-up shower stall with a door. All convenient. And then from here, we would go back aft into the engine room. Back part of the engine room has the generator to starboard and the wing engine to port. Ford often puts a lot of thought into their engine rooms. This is an engine room that's very easy to get around. Everything's labeled. You can get to the fuel manifolds. You can inspect the engine. The Yanmar wing engine has a V-drive, so the transmission is forward going back underneath. It also has its own separate fuel tank. So this wing engine is a completely isolated, independent propulsion package. Northern Lights generator on this side, sound shield, easy to get in and see what you need to do. All the service has been done. Behind me, a couple of the strainers. The lazarette is behind this bulkhead back behind me. And then forward is the main engine. Main engine is dry stack exhaust. This is the dry stack exhaust column right here. And I have a little bit of a ledge I can sit on right here if I'm inspecting. Again, you got a pretty good view of what's back behind you. Over on the starboard side are the fuel filters, the Raycor fuel filters, as well as the manifold for supply and return. And then if you go forward over here on the port side, you will see the active fin stabilizers. This is the Nyad stabilizer reservoir up forward. So an easy engine room to get around in, good access, and I really think you won't be missing out too many engine room checks because you'll feel good coming down here. I like to think of the cockpit on Cayenne as the welcome deck. This is where you're gonna be doing most of your entries. On the starboard side here, a full length door with a scupper down below, freeing port. I can also go up to the four deck Portuguese bridge through the side deck that's right alongside the salon. Great way, you don't have to go through the inside to get forward. Air stack chimneys for the engine room, varnished teak cap rail, magma boat barbecue. The fish here are, are stored for the parabane outriggers. There is a little bit of an overhead hang here that gives me shade and protection. Of course, I can go into the salon through the Dutch door. The lazarette hatch gives me access down into the lazarette where I have the batteries and I have the hot water tank, water maker, steering, and it's just a good storage area. It ends up being a, a great place for putting extra gear. Built-in lockers for storage. This one also has the Edson manual bilge pump, a fresh and seawater tap, hot and cold cockpit shower, gate right here to get onto the swim platform. So if you're arriving by dinghy or going for a swim, you have a great area here. The swim ladder right here goes down into the water. So this is a great area to come into the boat if I'm arriving by sea. And from here, I then go into the salon through the Dutch door. You get up onto the foredeck by going through the gate on the starboard side of the Portuguese bridge. Anchor well is forward. It's a raised platform with gutters and drains that go overboard. Freeman hatch for the chain locker, Maxwell windlass with foot buttons, hose pipes up here, two hatches, two derade vents, one for each cabin, and some built-in fiberglass storage boxes. Coming out from the port side of the pilot house, you are part of the Portuguese bridge, and this is the way you access the boat deck and on up to the flybridge. So a couple of steps. As you come up, you'll notice there's a couple spars the mast is right along the center line with the dry stack exhaust going up. And then the outboard poles are the paravane outriggers. So Cayenne has both paravane outriggers for stabilization and active fins. A relatively new high field dinghy with a Honda 15 horsepower outboard. The dinghy and the 
paravanes are all activated with electric boom winches, which are down below in this console right over here. And over on the starboard side of the boat deck, I actually have extra space if I want to put some bikes here. There's some bike racks from before. The dinghy mount itself is up a little bit higher, so you could put kayaks and other things below it. Then to get up to the flybridge, you come up these steps. There are two helm chairs and even a custom built-in seat in the center. So from here, I'm operating the boat while underway. Compass, autopilot, bow thruster, main engine controls, chart plotter, engine shift, VHF radio, all the main controls I would need. Forward underneath the flybridge is what I call the attic. That's a storage area where you have extra space. And then you have the bimini top covering you, protecting you out of the sun and the rain. So you can be up here with three people easily. Another person could be sitting up there looking back out. It's a great place to be when you're underway, when you're at rest, wonderful place to be at anchor when you want to just have something to eat and just take in the view. So from up here, again, you can have a good view of the boat deck and then you go back down the port side into the Portuguese bridge or into the pilot house. Well, that's a wrap on Cayenne. Thank you very much for your time going through the boat with me. I hope you have a better appreciation of the layout functionality. We have active fin stabilizers and paravane outriggers, which work underway and at rest. There's a brand new dinghy, essentially brand new dinghy, good electronics, air conditioning, generator, the lugger main engine, dry stack exhaust, wing engine. This boat really has it all for the adventurous couple who wants to go cruising. If you'd like to come aboard and see her, we do that by appointment. She is gonna remain in Ensenada, so what you do is you meet me in San Diego. I have the plan for coming down here. We can come down, check out the boat, see what you think, and then uh, get you back across the border. We do that by appointment. If you'd like to come on board, please send me a text or call my cell phone or send an email. The information's on the screen. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you again for your time today. Hey, great to be underway again, out on the water. Love it out here. Thank you very much for watching the video. We have a couple of things you can do. One thing is you can click the bell to get a reminder when we post the next video. We love it when you give us those thumbs up. And then you can subscribe by clicking the button below. Once you've seen a couple of videos, you might also want to check out some of the other ones. So you can click on one of these videos on the side. Thanks, we hope to have you come back here soon and we'll be putting up more content shortly.